Welcome. Welcome back. As you can see, Trav and Jay, Wired, Episode 9, Season 1. It's been a long season. <laughs> As, As you can <laughs> see, <laughs> we've changed up our setup a little bit. That we have. We are on a couch. We thought this was going to be more comfortable. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> We're having to like... So, in order to make the video right, we gotta sit in the middle, which is like on the little seams in between the little recliners on each side. It's it not hurts. comfortable. We're sitting on pillows and it still hurts. It still hurts. So, so to all you listeners out there, I want you to know that our bottoms hurt, but we're here for you. Yes. We put our <laughs> bosom comfort aside for you. Our bosom, it's your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> I need to Google that. Okay, while well, Google, you go. I can, while Jordan is googling <laughs> bosoms, that's gross. How do you spell uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's happening to this episode already? <laughs> so we're <Yep>. going. To... <laughs> that's what it is. It's a woman's chest. Oh, well, not even a man's chest. Nope. <laughs> Well, that's awkward. <laughs> well, I meant something different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, jumping into this episode, we're going to talk about three other episodes. <laughs> um, starting with, again, we talked about this on our last podcast episode. We started our how-to series. So, we're picking right back up with those. Yeesh. And this next one is one... You did this one. That one? Yeah, yeah, that one. I so, yeah, this is one that I did, <laughs> and it actually got a lot of views. Yeah, Jordan did something for once. Yeah. 940 views on using swivels for quick lure changing when fishing. Yes. So, if you guys have watched any of our fishing videos, there's not many out there, um, <laughs> we always use swivels just so we can change lures, and it's super easy, rather than just tying a whole new knot every time you want to change a lure. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of it. So, yeah, I mean, me and Jordan use uh, swivels for pretty much any time we're out fishing. The meantime time I'm out fishing, I use swivels quite a bit to quick change, you know, where lure I'm using or baits or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. I like your phrase. We do a lot of fishing. Like, we just don't record it most of the time because normally when we go out recording fishing, we don't catch anything. It's a curse. So then we turn the cameras off, and well, we catch stuff then, but then if we bring the cameras back, we won't catch anything. So mm -hmm. thus, we're stuck in this evil twist. Yes. So okay. basically, what we're asking is for some of you to secretly go record us fishing. <laughs> we want you to secretly stalk us <laughs> wherever we go. We'll secretly post where we're going on social media. And if you just happen to go there and film us, we won't know. We won't we'll know. Catch the just fish. send us a non the video clip on yeah. Facebook or something. We'll, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that video did pretty well, which yeah. was good. Yeah. Um, but the next one you did, I and did. it did not do well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <George. laughs> So, yeah, the next video I did, um, it was a how to put line on a spinning reel, which I saw a lot of people would want that because, I mean, a lot of people struggle with putting line on a spinning reel just because it's a little different, a little more difficult. Um, but, unfortunately, that video did not do very well compared to our other how-to videos, but that is okay. It's there, so if anybody ever needs it, it's out there. So if you ever need to know how to put line on a spinning reel, go watch that video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those mm -hmm. how-to videos, that how-to series was fun. And as we talked about in the last podcast, we just recently started that yeah. again. Yeah. We recorded that video at the same time we recorded the podcast. But the how-to video is already posted. Woo! So go watch it. Yeah, our newest how-to series is back, or, well, our how-to series is back. Um, how-to remastered. How-to remastered, and it's a little more better, it's a little more better, 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 better. It's a little more better. <laughs> a little more better. Better quality than our old how-to videos, and a little bit more crisp in the video taken. And, well, 
crispy, like an apple that you just pulled out of the bag from the fridge. Crisp. Crisp. Crisp, like a soda can when you first open it. Oh, yeah. But anyways, yeah, go watch that video. It's a how to rig your line for bluegill fishing. Mm -hmm. Or panfish fishing. Mm -hmm. Or whatever that might be. You want to use a baba for. So, if you ever want to do that and want to learn how, go check that how-to video. Uh, it got posted two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks, yeah, two weeks ago. Well, no two, Wait, two weeks ago from when we're filming this podcast. So, probably like three weeks ago <laughs> when you're listening to this podcast. Actually, it'll probably be like four weeks ago because I haven't posted our last podcast episode either. And if you take a while to listen to the podcast, maybe five or six weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're trying. <laughs> um, it's your fault for listening late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so enough yeah. of the how-tos. Yeah, so that's enough how-tos. <laughs> Our next video... <laughs> I don't know, I like repeating what you said. <laughs> We're all over the place today. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, the couch is throwing I mean, us off. Yeah, this is throwing us off. I mean. I mean look at the cool picture of the boat, though. I don't think they can really see it. Can you see it? Well, you can see the half, bottom half of it. You see the bottom half of our boat. If you're actually watching this video, if you're listening, imagine the bottom half of a picture of a boat. <laughs> 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 Let's take a few minutes to describe. <laughs> There's blue water, the bottom of a pirate ship. Is it a pirate ship? I don't really know. I think it's like a, the Mayflower. No. <laughs> and there's there's seagulls flying beside it. There's a whole lot of a uh, whatever those things are that catch the wind. Sails. Sails. There's a whole lot of sails. And clouds. And there's somebody's signature, but I can't read. J. Gusson. Maybe. <laughs> it was me. No. Just kidding. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> so we're going to do a third video recap today because the how-to ones are pretty, recap. pretty quick. This one, we're back to magnet fishing in an urban creek. Magnet fishing. No. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how to... Follow you up. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we went magnet fishing in Urban Creek. This is guess where? Back at Clark's River. Have we been there before? Well, we've been to other parts of Clark's River. Right? Have we? I guess so. We've <laughs> talked about Clark's River <laughs> on the podcast. I know we have. Okay, yeah. I think we have, yeah. Okay, so we're back at Clark's River and uh, we went magnet fishing. And this is in Paducah. Yeah, Paducah. And I think Jonathan joined us. Yeah, hey, our buddy Jonathan joined. Uh, this is the first ever time we went magnet fishing at Clark River. Or it's actually... Well, we've gone back once, I think. No, twice? We've gone back twice. To that spot, we've been back at least yeah, once. Yeah, in this spot, we went right off the boat ramp. So right from the bank. We've been there twice. And then me and Jordan went back in our kayaks. Mm -hmm. That was a crazy video. That's when we found all the railroad bikes. <clears throat> yeah. Not that's not for this video though. <laughs> Erase that. <laughs> but we are going to be going back there because there is so much area to cover here. It's mm -hmm. insane. So we were out there for a whole day. Again in the next video, and still we're finding stuff the whole time. Oh yeah, it never ended. We were just our camera batteries were getting tired or worn out. And we were getting tired. They so. were tired. <laughs> our, our they were tired. were tired. We were tired. So we had to call it quits. But yeah, but this video, first air time going there. Um, we had a smaller magnet. Yeah. We had the first grappling hook. Yeah. Which was the smaller one. Yeah. We found a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we pulled in a lot of cable. Yeah. And with the cable, we used the grappling hook. Yeah. And it got stuck. So, like, all three of us were pulling as hard as we could. Oh, my God. That's probably where I got my hernia. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were, like, sprawled out on the freaking bank, pulling uh -huh. with everything we had. And I think we ended up breaking the cable, actually. So, I remember us breaking it. We saw it come up, and we saw another piece go back down. Yeah. So, there was even more down there. 
We just broke. We pulled so hard, we broke a cable. That's impressive. You realize how impressive that is? I mean, it was three grown men's strength. Yeah, but I mean, we, we're kind of wimpy. Huh. <laughs> it's like two grown men's strength. <laughs> and that cable had been in Waterford. <laughs> Don't know how long. <laughs> so it's like rusted. You're the one that said it was impressive. <laughs> hey! It was. Anyways, yeah, we did that. Um, we did have some gold finds, though. I know we probably found all the nuts and bolts and fishing lures, but we found a tire rim or a yeah. wheel, the wheel of a car. Yeah. Like, the rim part. I remember we found that, and I think we, at some point, we were convinced that there's a car down there. Yes. And I still, I'm not unconvinced that there isn't. You've not been unconvinced yet? Not unconvinced yet. Because <laughs> we keep... Okay, so when... I know we're driving into the future video, but when we went on our kayak, we kept attaching to something super heavy, like, all over the place. Yeah. I bet there was... I'm, I mean, we pulled, the, pulled a wheel up, so the wheel could have been off of the car. And when we were fishing from the bank, we did keep getting stuck on stuff. Keep getting stuck on stuff and could not pull it in, and the magnets would just pull off. Yeah. And it wasn't the cable, because we got that out. And let me say, like, that hub cap or wheel or whatever we found was plastic. That means that plastic floats, right? Most of the time. That plastic. means, yeah. It was. Because we got it with the grappling hook. Yeah, that's right. So, we pulled that off, I think, of this car. I'm actually just putting this together right now, <laughs> as we're talking about it. Because now that I think about it, that was plastic, which means plastic normally floats, especially something that light because it wasn't that heavy. Which means we had to have pulled that off a tire. And that tire, theoretically, could have been, could be attached to a vehicular vehicle. Well, the tire would not have necessarily been attached. Not necessarily, <laughs> but... You would think we could might have pulled a whole tire in if we pulled the hubcap. Our grappling hook's strong enough to pull tires, and we've done it many times. Yes. So that means there's a car, Jordan. I mean, we're going back. So you're just <laughs> now he's double convinced. Okay, we're going to go dive now. I'm just, I am not diving there. No, it's I'm just very kidding. green and dark. Water. Yeah, it's very frightening. I would not dive there. <laughs> <laughs> we can go back with our stronger magnets and lose them because we go inside of a car. <laughs> not that we've ever done that before. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we found all that stuff. I think we found a few random like pieces of like metal. Um, I can't remember if it was this trip or the second trip. But one of these trips, we found a socket wrench or some kind of tool. I kind of want to say it was the second trip, but it might have been this one. I don't remember. So. Mm. I just remember the tire. I think Johnson table. might have found it. Cause I think Johnson was, was both times we did it from the bank. Yes. It was just us in the kayak, so. Yes. That's whenever I tipped over. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that was a good one. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and talk about our last, this last how-to. I feel like we're Yeah, I think we've got a how-to in. Okay. So, we're going to talk throw one more video in just because. Um, it's another one you did. Yeah. It got a decent amount of views. It got 176. Decent. So, the last how-to is I did how to lubricate and clean this spinning reel. So, the previous video, I did how to put line on it, and this time I did how to lubricate it. So, basically, take it apart, clean the little individual pieces of it, lubricate them, and put it back together to make it run properly and, you know, keep it in good running shape. For when you go out fishing, you're always ready with a nice, clean, pristine multifunctioning crisp reel that you can take a bite out of and it still tastes good i'm just kidding but anyways so yeah that was that it was a fun how-to video um so that's those four videos we filmed those uh ranging from june to july of 2020 so yeah. mm -hmm. woo who sneak peek ahead to the next podcast 
Yes. More how to's. Our first channel trailer Ooh. in disc golf. Disc golf, yeah. Poro did talk about the trailer too much, so we'll also <laughs> throw in our first uh, treasure hunting video, I believe. Mm. Maybe if you're well, lucky. not our first treasure hunting, but our first treasure hunting on foot. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, we won't talk about certain specifics of it, but because they allude to Jordan's dark past. But <laughs> what? <laughs> Your friend was there. Oh, I don't remember it, but okay. <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, we'll talk about those on the next cast pod. Check it out. But for today, thanks to com conversationstarters.com random topic generator, we've got some fun questions. Not sponsored. Wish we were. <laughs> so these are very off the wall, all random, not related to anything at all. But my first question for you, Travis. The apple doesn't far from for the far from the tree. What? Yep. <laughs> Would you rather not be able to use your hands or not be able to walk? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a tough one. Uh, huh? Okay, so not use my hands or not be able to walk. <laughs> this one's pretty easy for me. I think I would go with uh, not being able to walk. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I have a condition with this one. What's your condition? Well, it's like a theoretical. Oh, okay. So where we are in technology, there are prosthetic limbs and stuff. But if I could have like robot hands that worked one day, I would just do that. What about robot legs? I guess that's the same thing. Okay, so take that out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'd rather not be able to walk because... Well, one, I know there's people that probably deal with this, but it's hard to imagine just like walking around, but you can't use your hands. There are people who deal with that. I know. I can tell us that to all those who do suffer from situations such as that. So. But it's, and it's, it's just a lot less common than people who cannot walk. So there's a lot of, you know, technology with wheelchairs. and. See, yeah, that's my point. Like, I think I could deal with, like, obviously I don't want to not be able to walk. But if I did, I mean, a wheelchair is a cert. I mean, yeah. wheelchair technology is pretty advanced nowadays. Um, so I think that's doable. But I feel like just losing my hands would just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you think about, like, your day-to-day, -day, like, you can do most of the stuff you do with a wheelchair. Yeah, but like, if I have... Like, you can still work, you yeah. can still play video games, you can still answer the phone, like... Yeah, if I don't have my hands, though, like, someone's gonna pretty much have to feed me sometimes. Yeah. Not all the time, but sometimes. Unless you eat, like... At least you can learn to use your legs. You have to get very flexible, though. Yeah. For a guy, that's not easy. <laughs> um, you have to eat everything out of a straw. Oh... Okay, yeah, definitely. So this uh, is an easy answer. For yeah, definitely uh, keep my hands. So tell me what you guys think in the comments or yes. message us if you're on the podcast. No, I just wanted to know we're not trying to, we're not putting down anybody that's no, facing not. these situations. Um, we completely respect that and we know we don't know exactly what it's like. So. All right. But. Okay. That's a good question, though. It makes you, it makes you really think. So. This one's a easy one for you, I think. Is it? What weird food combinations do you like? <laughs> <laughs> what weird food combinations do I like, huh? Might not be as easy. So, I don't know if this has been stated on the podcast before, but Travis has a diet of a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to deny it. I, I truly do. Or, I mean, like a, not necessarily a toddler, but like 12 and under. 12 and under. 
for we'll just say child. Um, I have an issue with. It's not that I don't like a lot of foods. I just I have a texture problem. Textures bother me a lot when it comes to food. So like even if it tastes good, if the texture's weird, I can't handle it. I'm just like nope. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. There's a lot of food I don't like, like seafood. Yeah, see, and I like seafood. Don't like any of it. Most, well, some seafood, not all of it, but some of it. Mushrooms and olives, I'm out. Oh, I agree on that. That's gross. Yeah. Jackie loves mushrooms, though. I think she likes olives, too. Gross, Jackie. <laughs> um. This ain't, I guess this ain't a weird food combination, but some people might find it weird. But I like, so, I like taking macaroni and cheese and then, like, frying up hot dogs and then cut up hot dogs and put it in it and mix it together. That's a totally normal thing. Is it normal? Okay. I didn't know how normal it was. I think it's normal. Okay. I definitely did this as a child. I did, too. <laughs> and I just never, I never knew, like, a lot of people liked that or not. Like, I love it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I tried to make my own the other day. Like, not, like, taking a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, you know, and make it. But I got my own pasta, I boiled it, I got my own... I made it all from scratch, Yes, yeah. I got that big, like, chunk of, like, you know that big log of, like, Velveeta cheese you can buy mm -hmm. off the shelf? I got one of those, cut it in half, and melted it in there. And then I mixed, I uh, cooked, like, a whole pack of hot dogs, fried them up, cut them, and put them in there, made it myself. It came out okay. Um, I think I used a little too much cheese, though, because it was extremely cheesy rich. No. Very, it's a little overwhelming actually. So when I make homemade mac and cheese like that, I do like a little bit of like a block, but then I do a lot of like I like do multiple types of cheeses of shredded cheese, uh, sprinkle uh, down. Okay. The flavor is really good. It's just it's like a little too cheesy. Like it's just a little too much. Mm -hmm. The hot dogs are really good though. Like I love the hot dogs. And so I guess that's not that weird though. Okay. For me, I have a couple things, but I don't think they're that I'm weird either. Think of my other ones. The le the less weird one is I really like ramen noodles. But I don't really do this so much lately, but I used to always put hot sauce in it. That's <laughs> weird. Like. Oh, I found a one. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so the ramen and hot sauce is kind of, I don't do it as much anymore because now I have like a new fancy way of making ramen. But my second one is like frozen burritos that you can get and like you can microwave them, throw them in the oven, whatever. I like to put A1 sauce on those. You just don't mind. Really? No. It ain't that. Oh. Mine has to do with A1 sauce, too. Oh. I mean, A1 sauce is just a delicacy anyways. But <laughs> I think I get the the bean and cheese burritos, and then I do the A1 sauce on it. And it's just, it doesn't taste like a Mexican food or, like, a burrito. It's, like, just a whole new food to me, and I like it. Hmm. What's yours? Okay, so, yeah, mine also has to do with A1 sauce because I agree with Jordan. It's a delicacy, and I love it. <laughs> I'm going to drink this stuff. It's so good. Honestly. Man, it's so good. But, anyways, I take it. And, like, if, say we're at a dinner and we have mashed potatoes mm. and there's no gravy, I will take A1 sauce, put it on my mashed potatoes and mix it in and make, like, almost like brown, black mashed potatoes. I um, would try that. It's so good. Like, I do it on, like, so growing up we'd have pot roast, like, you know, you'd make a roast with, like, potatoes and carrots and stuff into, mm -hmm. I would always coat my uh, roast and my potatoes into A1 sauce. But then I started putting it in my mashed potatoes too. Man, it's good. So delicious. It reminds me of the the meme I showed you earlier of the mashed potatoes that were made with chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's taking it too far. Oh, <laughs> so this is another weird thing I did. I made it scrambled eggs one time with chocolate milk. Yeah, Jordan literally just told me this this morning. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that... I understand that it sounds gross. And the eggs were a little bit brown. <laughs> but, like, it tasted just like normal scrambled eggs, just a little bit sweeter. So it wasn't anything wrong with it. But, yeah, I definitely got chewed out by my mom. <laughs> she thought it was disgusting. I was on the FaceTube last night, and um, I saw somebody, one, you know, one of those little cooking videos you come across. What is FaceTube? Facebook. I don't know what FaceTube Because <laughs> 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 it's a video on Facebook, so I call it FaceTube. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I was watching one of the cooking videos, and this guy made uh, bacon-wrapped hot dogs. And at first, I'm like, okay, this seems pretty normal, right? Yeah. I'd eat bacon wrap hot dog. 
But then he made like, he grilled up pineapple and grilled up like some other kind of fruit. I don't remember what it was. Almost like a papaya. I was like, why papaya? Mm. But anyways, cut all the grilled up pineapple and papaya or whatever it was and then put like fresh pineapple and then put like all kinds of other crap in it. And I was like, okay, you took it too far. <laughs> Pineapple's fine. But all the other crap, I don't know. It's like corn and everything. Like, it's corn. <laughs> corn. I love pineapples. I totally try. I do too. I love pineapple as well. But it was a weird mix of stuff. I didn't. If it was just a pineapple, maybe. It almost like, I guess maybe you'd classify it as like a pineapple salsa, maybe. Is what like you'd classify it as. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird on the bacon wrap. I don't know. That's what I saw too. I like, that's pork on pork. Yeah, I was like, that's a weird combination. But like I said, it's kind of a Hawaiian thing. The, back, the bacon wrap top dog, I would eat that every day. Mm-hmm. You know what's weird, though? Like, people in the comments were like, shame on you for making this video. And I was like, what? And everybody was like, most families can't afford bacon and hot, bacon and hot dogs and buns. I was like, what? I, I mean, I'm sure that's a case in some places, but I'm like... Hot dogs are some cheap meat. Hot dogs, you can buy a pack of cheap hot dogs for like 99 cents. And mo you can buy cheap bacon, which you'd want cheap bacon to wrap around hot dogs. If it's too sick, it ain't going to work. So, a cheap pack of bacon's like three bucks. And buns are like 99 cents. I'm like, you're looking at like six dollars. I was like, <laughs> not that much. Shame on you. I was, I was so confused by that comment. I guess I, I'm recognized some people maybe really can't afford that, but I uh, respect that, but I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. That was, that was so weird. Because it, 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 it's like, I saw one comment. I was like, okay. It's just one round. Then I saw a bunch of other, I was like, what the heck's happening here? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's so weird. If you can't afford that, try some ramen with hot sauce. I actually do enjoy ramen. <laughs> yes, I love ramen. <laughs> I drink a lot It is ramen. not, I mean, it's definitely like a college lifesaver, but, you know. I enjoy just to eat it. It's good even if you have money. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally always have a box of ramen up in the mm -hmm. cabinet, always. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Yes, chicken is definitely better. Both are good, but chicken is better. Chicken's definitely better. And but, you can, I feel like mm -hmm. you can do more flavor mixing with chicken. Mm-hmm. And it tastes okay still. Yeah, because the way I make my ramen now is I add all kinds of seasonings. And I do too. I add an egg and all this stuff. So. Well, I don't do that. But... <laughs> mm. Jonathan told me about this like legit ramen place we can go to in St. Louis. So we're going to check that out. Mm. If y'all know where that's at, drop some comments down below. Yeah, and let us know what your weird food yeah. combinations are. For sure. We'll tell you that you're really weird. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we'll try some of them. <laughs> tell us we're weird. That's cool. Hey, I'll if you it. actually intrigue us, we'll make... We'll make it for the next podcast. Yeah. And we will eat it on camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> we may have to set ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, you just did something bad to us. Okay, last question. What movies have you rewatched the most number of times? Ooh, rewatched the mm -hmm. most number of times. <sighs> okay, well, the first one that comes to mind, I've rewatched a lot. Is Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm. Uh, I re I've rewatched that many times because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. Uh, Big Girl Six. I've watched a lot. So I like it. All my movies are gonna be like Disney anime movies. Sorry. Honestly, though, mine too. Because thinking back to when you were a child, and you've like kind of rewatched them every so often, or like Christmas movies you rewatch every year. Yeah. Like Home Alone, Elf. Yeah, I'm those are probably the today. most rewatched, but it's always like once a year. I still rewatch them today. Like, mm -hmm. I, still, I still, I still love them. So, but I mean, thinking outside of the box on that, I've rewatched Marvel movies a lot. Like the Spider-Man franchises, I've probably seen those a lot. Because like every time a new one comes out, I rewatch all of them. My another one of my again going back to Disney Pixar here. I watched the first Toy Story a lot. Yeah. I love. I mean, I love Toy Story. Like it's, I absolutely love it. So yeah, it's a good one. I, I like the later movies okay too, but the first one, the third one, I love it. But it hurt, hurt. It hits my heartstrings a little bit, so <laughs> I can't watch it too much. Yeah. It makes me feel emotions, and I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think as a kid, I watched The Lion King a lot. And yeah. I watched the Land Before Times movies a lot. Oh, I tried to find those the other day, and they're like not on any streaming service. They're not on streaming, but I think I saw the old VHS tapes. Ooh. <laughs> those are probably worth some money. Yeah. They're, especially if they're not streaming. Yeah, like the only place you could watch it is like, uh, I think you could rent it on Amazon Prime or something. Mm. But, like, there's no like streaming services really on. Which is a shame, though, because I like Land Before Times movies. They're good. Little Foot. How Little Foot. Tea Tree. Yeah. And the Star Shaped Leaves. What are they called? I can't Star, remember. Not starfish. Starfruit? No. No. Star. Star. What is it? What star leaf. It, leaf yeah, star. I think just a star. I think star. Star leaf? Leaf stars. Leaf stars? Maybe. I have to go rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Movie time. Podcast over. <laughs> I'm going to watch Lamp <laughs> Four Time. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Good ones. Speaking of movies, I finally uh, watched Frozen 2 the other day. Good one. I see. I'm never like. Travis has a beef with Frozen. I do have a beef with Frozen. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. It was a good movie, but it came out very similar time as Big Hero Six, and Big Hero Six to me was so much better. But all the little girls and princesses out there just fell in love with Frozen, and like Big Hero Six got overshadowed. And to me, Big Hero Six is just so much better than Frozen. I agree that it's better, but. Frozen and just kind of, it's the Disney princess yeah, I movement. Know, I know. So like all the Disney princesses are gonna be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Big Hero Six is really good. It definitely got overshadowed. It got overshadowed. I will say I watched Frozen Two, and I'll say Frozen Two is actually better than the first one. It was quite good. I can't remember what happened. I liked it. It was a good movie. I never. I don't dislike Frozen. I I won't say I dislike it. I just have a beef with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Big Hero Six. Is Okay. Frozen 2 was better than the first Frozen. So, there you go. I said something the, nice. No. Let it go. Let it go. I like the other one better. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's going to wrap it up for podcast episode 9, season 1 here. Um, when should we make season 2? What episode? 12? That's kind of like a Do 12 one. per season? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got three more episodes after this. 10, 11, 12, yeah. Three more episodes left in this season. So maybe our last episode of the season is when we'll do the weird food thing. <laughs> we don't want to steal from GMM too much. <laughs> Yo, GMM, give us more Rhett and Link. Let's team up. We're weird people, and we love watching your show. And we like weird foods, too. We'll eat weird food with you. Yeah. So, let's join together. Let's become partners. Even though... We will do nothing for you, but you'll do everything. <laughs> you do everything for us, basically. Yeah, we're, we, we're kind of like low men on totem bow here. But, yeah. you know. Oh, well. You know, we gotta try. Link, I hope your arm heals. Yes. Rhett. Condol- condolences us to that. Rhett, you've inspired this beard. I know. He's... We're, we're going... I'm not going to shave like Link, though. So sorry. I <laughs> can't do it. Sorry, Link. Yeah. I respect your look, but it'd, be, it'd look weird without... I'd look weird without beard. Yeah. So... <laughs> I can put my glasses on now and be similar. <laughs> I can't see either. I got contacts in. <laughs> Okay, sorry, Red. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. No, we love you guys. Yeah. You've inspired us to get a lot of stuff that we do. So Time to spin the wheel of mythicality. God bless. You're going to get us copyrighted, son. <laughs> <laughs> get uh, gosh. Sorry, all you mythical beasts. <laughs> Jordan. Good God, Jordan. I'm about to edit all this out. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Okay, we're closing this out before I had to get copyrighted even more. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> we, you say no, you know what time it is. <laughs> I know what time it is. Your flashlight's on, your phone is blinding me. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I'm ending this before he does something else. I right, hope you enjoyed our video. Drop us a thumbs up. Leave us five stars. Drop us a comment wherever you need to. And they'll tell. Till next time.
Stay wired!